let's get right into it. What is going on? This is a message for whoever needs to hear this. I've started to put up my individual Zodiac readings over on Soulful Zodiac, where the individual Zodiac readings are going to go. It's a different, uh, different YouTube channel, so there's a link below. You can catch that. I also have MJ's Learn Tarot. If you want to learn tarot from me, there is a YouTube channel about that. All right, let's see where we go. Uh, I did a little live this morning on Instagram about Chiron, um, and Chiron, the sun is kind of boosting Chiron this week. So you may have um, some reminders, some wounds may come up unexpectedly, but it's an opportunity, okay? If you look at it as an opportunity, I feel like I see the hanged man in my head. It's about seeing things in a way that even, you know, turns a negative, a perceived negative into a positive. So let me show you what I'm getting. Write this into reality. What are you co-creating with the universe this week? What are you doing? And what do you want to create with the universe this week? It This is kind of, um, with the Chiron placement, it makes me feel like we're boosting our awareness of our own perceived failures, flaws, whatever, it turns out that's where the real power is, right? Like if you um, think about this, if you want to go see a person speak on a topic, would you prefer that they read a book on it or would you prefer that they lived it? To me, living through something, yes, read books, of course read books, but if there's something about it that once you experience a thing, there is no substitute for that. And those who are also experiencing the same thing, there is some kind of kinship. There is some kind of joint healing. So a lot of you on this channel know that I have had my run-ins with a number of narcissistic partners, six different kinds I've counted. And they can be an overlap of all kinds of other nonsense going on with them. But the experience is essentially the same when we come down to it of how we heal and how we move beyond things. So a lot of you, I talk about plutonic relationships. I talk about relationships that have narcissistic elements to them and how to work on that uh, and how to move away from that, really. Okay? Enter one step forward, one step onward. This Aries energy is pushing us to take action. So with the Chiron placement, it's not enough just to be like, oh yeah, these are my patterns, these are my wounds. It's about stepping into it and really um, leaning into, into the energy and so you can heal that for yourself. And then tell the rest of us, please, will you please do that? Your greatest joy pollinates the world. So... I always feel like the things that we, Chiron uh, in our childhood can be someone shaming us. Um, I said this on the morning uh, live I did on Instagram. You know, Chiron is one of those things that you don't need a birth time for in your birth chart to really see it because it moves so slowly. It takes about 50 years to get all the way around. So what would I, what was I saying this morning? Um, Chiron... Chiron was in Pisces from January 20th, 1961 to April 1st, 1968. So that's over seven years of it being in one place. So Chiron, if you were born during the, those dates, you have Chiron in Pisces. January 30th, 1969 to May 28th, 1976, it's in Aries. So these are not quite generational but pretty close because it's such a slow moving asteroid. It's not a planet and it's very subtle. So the way you really understand your Chiron is through triggers and patterns and stuff. Um, I've done um, a class with Mary Lee, a past life, a past life um, um, workshop, I guess I'll call it a workshop. Um, it's a regression. And it will help you understand the, the foundations of your Chiron. And it is, you might see it as a weakness, but is truly your power. All right. So if you want to jump onto that, the link is below. That will be available for, for you. Um, let's see where we go here. <sighs> okay. 
Seven of Wands. Some of you might be resisting um, a person or a pattern and you have really gained some self-confidence here. I love this King of Cups and then the, the um, Hierophant. I've been seeing this for quite a while that some of you have an old pattern coming up, even in even a person. It doesn't have to just show up in a bunch of different people. There's somebody that you have not been able to resist in the past who is coming back around. And because you're much more stable and solid working on this Chiron energy, you kind of like face up to them. And it doesn't become scary anymore. It doesn't become overwhelming anymore. It doesn't feel like, oh, am I doomed to deal with this? No. It's like, oh, this is not that big a deal. I can do it. And that's, so by overcoming this, you have self-confidence, you're building self-confidence, but by facing it, it's like, it takes, um, it takes you stepping in your power, even if you feel scared, even if you feel like, oh, I can't be near this person, or anytime this person texts me, I, I crumble, you know, I just, you know, fall to pieces, I go to like cardboard in the rain, I just collapse. That's not going to happen. And what happens is because you've done that, this is um, heroic, okay, on your hero's journey. This is part of your zero to hero story or however they call it, <laughs> where you've stepped into that power. And what happens is um, love can finally come in because you've, you've um, it's not that you've uh, covered up that wound or, you know, put, a, put some makeup on it so no one can see it. It's like you're embracing it. Like, yeah, I have empathy. I have love for myself enough to stand up to this energy in a loving way. It's not a defensive way. It's not a, this is really like, look, king of the hill. All right, this is about you being king of the hill. And so when that devil energy comes around, like, yeah, I can face it because I'm not, I'm not afraid of it. I don't run the other way. Not at all. You step up to it and you go, yeah, you know what? This isn't gonna work for me anymore. Like, good job. Four of cups, seven of swords. Oh, my, 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 five of cups. Somebody, um, this is a person. So whoever this is for, this is for someone who has been dealing with a third party, maybe unknowingly. You may not know. Or the third party doesn't have to be another person. The third party can be an addiction. That person can have an addiction. Or that person can be somebody who is un disconnected from their feelings. They're unavailable. All right, something like that. And I feel like this person might have regrets, okay, for um, try, lying to you or trying to um, manipulate you or something like that. So eight of cups, ten of pentacles. Nice job. Ace of pentacles, six of swords. Wow, ten of cups. Oh, my goodness. Queen of pentacles. That's the same card that came out in that Instagram reading. So this is like you've put this to the side. This is the card of... I'm still focused on the three of cups. I'm still focused on the thing that wasn't good for me. And I'm not seeing that there's new opportunities. I just keep focusing on this other person who has lied to me, who has cheated, uh, who's done all kinds of things. And you may, my mother used to say to me, darling, everybody gets theirs. You just may not be around to see it. Think about that for a second. You don't have to be the witness right? You just have to witness your own power and your own strength. I feel like this person feels bad, okay, for what they've done, but that's not, that's not telling me that they, yeah, they feel bad, but uh, they got a lot of work to do. They're still showing up as the devil energy here, and they're still showing up in this five of cups energy. It's not like, oh, they're healed, bring it on. No, in fact, you're like, wow, I'm so past that. Like, I don't even, I think you're going to be surprised how little you care <laughs> and it's like you kind of just move on eight of cups toward the ten of pentacles something that's real and true and long lasting we have north node moving in or has moved in in january to taurus which is partly venus energy divine feminine energy but also the energy of what do i find valuable and you're really having to double down on what you find valuable. So if you feel that I want to be in, a, in this particular type of relationship, showing up as the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, if you want this, then stand up for it. 
okay? If you want that, if you want what you're um, not getting, then say, that's not what I want. Like, be clear. A little queen of swords, a little queen of swords here. And this is moving you toward faster and faster toward the thing you do want. So uh, Abraham Hicks talks a lot about contrast. And when you see the person that's showing up as this devil energy, third party energy, whatever it is, when you see that as, oh, not what I want, then you know what you want. I think sometimes the universe does know that, <laughs> and I don't know how many times I've said this on classes I've taught, like, well, what is it that you do want? And people are a lot less clear about that, it seems to me. They're much more clear about what they don't want. And so a lot of our lessons in this life are showing us contrast. And, you know, when we have people like that come across our paths, maybe they've been in your life for a really long time. But now you're seeing it. You're seeing the pattern. You're seeing that it's not the direction you're wanting to go. And now it's kind of like, I'm going to say easy. It does feel to me like a, a little epiphany, like, oh, yeah, I'm going in this direction. Good for you. Good for you. So Ten of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, I see Taurus here. Taurus, Capricorn. Taurus and Capricorn here. And I also see the King of Cups, like water, uh, water energy. So we'll look at those. So it's earth and water showing up here. All right, so I'm gonna continue on. If this is your reading, let's see where we go. Let's see what happens here, how this unfolds. The link is below if you wanna come along with me. I'll see you over there. Mm -hmm.